Hey guys, it's Harrison here. Welcome back to a brand new GTA Online video. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a whole lot of new heist features that are going to be coming with the heist update on March 10th. That being adversary modes, daily objectives, and a whole lot more updates coming to Grand Theft Auto Online on March 10th. So this is going to be just an old-fashioned, or good old-fashioned review of, of the Rockstar Newswire they updated today. Like I said, telling us about game new game modes, updates that are going to be coming alongside Grand Theft Auto Online Heist. This is going to be a very broad video. I might go into a little more detail and specifics later, and then I'm going to be going over everything in this article. So with that out of the way, guys, let's get started. Next week, Heist will deliver a brand new gameplay experience to GTA Online, offering players the chance to team up to take down big scores. Alongside this massive new gameplay, or na massive new addition, comes a range of new features and enhancements to make the entire GTA Online experience bigger and deeper. Adversary modes bring three new kinds of competition to GTA Online, while daily objectives and other free mode activities bring new life to the hectic streets of Los Santos and Blaine County, which is really good. They need it. They are kind of, as you all probably know, getting kind of deserted of players. Uh, that continues on to say, here's a rundown of some of the new features and additions launched next week alongside Heist that will continue to expand and augment the world of Grand Theft Auto Online. New Adversary Modes These brand new player versus player modes will bring a range of intense new competitive challenges to GTA Online. Adversary Modes will unlock as players progress through Heist. That sounds pretty cool, it's basically just gonna be a new PvP mode which sounds kind of cool, we'll have to see how that develops. Oh yeah, sorry, the adversary modes, and then they have types, sorry, that continues here. Uh, one being, the first one being, come out to play. A team of heist runners just trying to make it home, and a team of hunters out for blood. Runners are well armed, but limited to movement by foot, while the opposition wield free aim shotguns and ride motorbikes or ATVs. Hunters must stay on their bikes and have access to unlimited lives, while the runners just have one life but all their weapons available to pick off the hunters at will. The next one being Siege Mentality. Up to four players stand their ground, outnumbered but not outgunned, as they fight to survive against up to six determined attackers in a location defense mode, GTA style. Attackers have unlimited lives but fight only with sawn off shotguns. Defenders have full use of their weapons. This does sound pretty interesting. I will be trying all these game modes out and probably have videos on them up on the channel when GTA Heist come out. Uh, well, actually, a week today, basically, from recording, or this is uh, Tuesday the 3rd. Um, and then it goes on to the last mode that they're adding in with the adversary modes, the last of the three, is Hasta La Vista. The chase is on as truckers in big rigs camp, or big rig cabs, hunt down a team of cyclists. The cyclist's goal is simple. Reach the final checkpoint without getting crushed under the wheels of the pursuing trucks. And obviously the trucker's goal is to run them down. Without traditional weapons, the truckers must rely solely on their vehicles to crush the cyclists. Meanwhile, the cyclists must harness the maneuverability and acceleration of their bicycles to evade the trucks, while keeping an eye over their shoulder. Now it's pretty interesting because they really, well, the cyclists and the cycles are pretty slow compared to uh, the trucks, obviously. And if one of the cyclists reaches the checkpoints, the cyclists win. If all of the cyclists are terminated, the truckers prevail. That's kind of like the Top Gun missions that are currently in GTA, only with fighter jets. And uh, so now we move on to the daily objectives, which are my favorite part from what I've seen so far in this um, update and what they've put in the newswire. Daily objectives. The Los Santos daily hustle just got a little more lucrative. Whether you tend towards jobs or free form activities, daily objectives will give you a rotating series of challenges to take on for GTA rewards. Or GTA dollar rewards, sorry. With three new objectives per day, players can stack up challenges over consecutive days to earn bonuses of up to $500,000. Bravo to Rockstar for finally making it somewhat easier, hopefully to to make money in GTA, it is, as you know, pretty bad and not very easy to, that's for sure. And new free mode, and lastly, new free mode activities. You and your fellow players also have new opportunities for cash and RP rewards with new activities added to the world of free mode. Now that is, that sounds pretty cool, I'm excited for that. Um, be on the lookout for calls from Lester who may need your help to distract the cops in a specific area while Lester's accomplices finish their criminal business. 
Lamar may call looking for help destroying a vehicle or two, while Trevor and Ron need occasional help, sorry, picking their business rivals' planes out of the sky. Along with GTA dollars and RP bonuses, there are all new rewards or awards available for completing these challenges with style. There's also a new email notification system that will allow you to contact and message any of your GTA Online friends, no matter what session they're in, as well as a host of new awards that yield new items, including exclusive t-shirts and car modifications. And that is just pretty much it for this update. It goes on to say that basically every detailed everything detailed here will be added to GTA Online for consoles in tandem with heists on March 10th, and on day one for PC when it launches on April 14th. Stay tuned for the newswire for more news, including our suggestions on how you can ready your crew to take down scores with heists, or when heists launch next week. So that's pretty much about it for this video, guys. That's awesome. New daily objectives. I can't wait for that. And uh, basically, that's going to be very exciting. Give us lots of new things to do alongside Grand Theft Auto Online heists, which are obviously the attraction. I am excited, as I've made it known before. The hype for heists and all these activities is real. If you were excited and hyped for heist, be sure to leave a like on this video, push that thumbs up button, and that would be awesome, guys. Your support is very much appreciated. Again, leave a comment if you're interested, or if you're excited, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you like GTA 5 and formative videos like this. With that out of the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.